Okay, and welcome to day 16 of our 31 day acrylic pour challenge. I was super excited about yesterday's. Uh, it's still drying, so I'll show you that when it's dry. Uh, today we're doing a split cut pour. My husband made this with his 3D printer. It's a very cool shape. It's a diamond shape. I filled it with metallic charcoal, silver, and bla metallic black, and then I just did those again, not in the same order. Um, so I could do a Raiders pour. I was given all the love to the Golden Knights and I gotta give some love to the Raiders. So we are going to do this pour. And then I just kinda did a little bit looser. This is um, just to kind of help it go further um, and it's more liquidy, just to help it spread. It does have a teeny bit of gold in it and silver in it from yesterday's pour. It's just a couple little bit last uh, leftover. I do did want to show you number day number 14. It got finished dry and I forgot to show you yesterday. So here is the finished result from the 14th, which was a double split pour or double ring pour, which I think turned out really great and I'm super happy with it. All right, so we're going to do this. We're going to see how it pours because I have never used this shape before, so we'll see. And here we go. I'm gonna move it so it doesn't all have the same shape in one way. It's kind of called a traveling ring pour, which I will be doing later, but we'll see what happens. I was afraid I was gonna have not enough, but this actually holds quite a bit. So I'm pretty glad about that. I'm actually pretty pleased with how much that holds. Okay. It's gonna start falling off the edges, but I'm going to torch it. I'm gonna torch the bubbles. Ooh. That got lots of little bubbles here. Got lots of little bubbles. Okay. No. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put my gloves on really fast. And then we will pour and see we can get other colors besides the silver to come out and play. All right, let's see. All right, so we're going to go off there and then we're going to go off here. There we go. Oh, and we didn't even reach the corner over there, but that's okay. We will see what happens as we stretch. Okay, bye. Now let's move this around so you can see. I might want to wreck this. Looks very skeletal. <laughs> hmm. Let's think about this for a second. I think I'm gonna wreck it. Give it some it just reminds me of a spine. I don't know what it reminds you guys of, but it definitely reminds me of a spine. So I got to change it up a little bit and see if we can change it up a little bit before we do some more stuff. Okay. I did pour most of it off, so there's not tons left to pour off. But that's okay. 
because we just put some whoop, random designs in here. Uh, we're going to just tilt it a little bit more. Kind of do this edge a little bit. Does still have some paint on there, so. Probably should have helped that a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to come turn it around and bring some of that back. I do like that better though, because it looks different then. Doesn't look so much like a spine to me anymore. All right. Okay, that looks very interesting and very silver, that's for sure. We'll see what kind of happens as it dries if uh, some of the charcoal comes out a little bit more. Definitely lost the black mostly, but I think that turned out pretty cool. Um, I even see a tiny little bit of, of gold <laughs> in there from the black that was underneath, so that's kind of fun. Um, I think that that looks pretty good. I think I'm just going to leave it like that, and I will pause it and bring you in for a close-up. Okay, so here we have our Raiders Pour, which is very heavy on the silver and not so much on the darker colors, but that's okay because Raiders are in the gray area of colors, gray and black. So I think we accomplished it. And then I don't know if you can catch it on the camera, but there was some gold tinges in the little lines that I did wreck it with. There you can kind of maybe see. I don't know, it's there, I promise. But some gorgeous lines and wiggles and just kind of looks fun and there's some black in there. I think that that just turned out fun. So that is day 16. We are halfway done with our month. We are going strong. We have some really fun, even more difficult paintings coming up in the next couple weeks. I hope you stick with me and subscribe and like if you haven't already. Share with your friends. Let's get the word spread out. Help me grow my channel uh, so I can do more pours for you and more art in general. So I will see you tomorrow with another pour. Um, and I hope you guys have a great Sunday and we'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.